Hello all you coin collectors out there and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have some 1985 nickels and you can see we have an 81 and an 83 on the top and, and I want to talk to you about why we did that. In 1985 uh, they slightly changed the uh, mint mark for the Denver and Philadelphia mint and so if you look at a 1985 um, Denver coin you see that the D here, and I'll point it out to you right underneath the five, is a big, wide open, kind of loosely sketched D. And then if you look at the 1983, you see the difference in the Ds. Just, just a smaller, denser version. And then if we look at the 1981, we see what happened frequently with these smaller, denser versions. They actually got filled. We call them sometimes the filled D variety. Um, not worth anything really. It's just funny or different that there was such a difference in them. But if you look at this D, it clearly wasn't um, stamped by the uh, same uh, die uh, that these ones were. In 1985, they just changed it up a little bit and we got a much clearer die. Now, this didn't only happen with the D coins. Uh, we can take a look at a, uh, a P, a 1985 P also. Oops, I can find it. There we go. So here's a 1985P, and you can see that, again, that's a pretty um, big, wide-open P. And uh, it, how does that... Well, here's... And that's a pretty big, wide-open P. But if we put that up against the 1983P, we see a huge difference there, right? So these are the 1985s, this is the 1983. So again, they changed, even at the Philadelphia Mint, they changed either the way they do uh, the mint die or the actual size of it. And I believe they actually changed the die completely and made it a different size. So you see that huge difference. And uh, is this across the board? Well, yes, it, it really is for these 1985s. Um, if we look at the Ds, all our D's look like that also. So all the D's are bigger. That one, that one, and that one. Oops, I can get to so. And then all the P's are bigger. That one, and that one. So that's really all we have um, there in terms of the, the mint marks, but it's interesting that they changed those. Now let's take take a look at this nickel and just talk a little bit about it. In 1985, um, they made a bunch of these both at the Philadelphia Mint and at the uh, Denver Mint. And these particular ones um, were, let me see, let's look at the, the 1985P first. The 1985P, they made 600 and uh, 47 million of them. The 1985D, they made 460 million of them. So 1.1 billion total of these. The 1985D actually has a little bit more value to it. Um, even in this shape here, it's probably worth about 12 to 20 cents US. Ne none of them are very valued. And even with these changes, you're not getting um, much money out of them. But these ones, um, just because of uh, the change, I believe, in the die or the way they look, um, these ones are worth um, more than five to seven cents. They're worth often 12 to 20 cents each. That's uh, Jefferson. Uh, this is the Felix Schlag design, and you can see Felix Schlag's initials right down here underneath FS. It says, in God we trust here, Liberty, uh, a star, has the year, and then the mint. And then if we turn it on to the back, we see that it is E Pluribus Unum. There's Monticello, five cents in United States of America down here. Now, of course, in 1985, they did do the proof coins at the San Francisco Mint, and they made 3.3 million proof coins. And at the San Francisco Mint, those proof coins will have an S down here, and they'll have a much different finish. It's incredibly uh, shinier, more polished, and more defined. 
All right, that's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Have a great day, and we'd love to have you leave comments in the comment section and subscribe to our channel if you like U.S. international and world coins.